Good morning and welcome to becoming a certified licensed instructor for ABC. This is a great webinar with lots of great information and follow up and please be sure to contact us if you have any questions on any of the information that you'll see today. So first, welcome. This is a great opportunity for us. Um, years ago, ABC used to teach a lot of different courses uh, in person, but we, you know, kind of got away from that. And now we want to bring it back. So we want to do a lot of different in-person opportunities, um, certification courses, um, maybe one day courses, but we are starting with uh, the Certified Wedding and Event Planner course under the ABC umbrella. So this opportunity is being offered to you and we'll go through some of the details on how you can you know, benefit from this opportunity. So some of the things that we'll talk about are the details on the ABC and the Longevity Partnership, opportunities for online in-classroom and college university teaching, what is in it for you? We're talk, we will talk about the process a little bit, and it may change at a later date. Uh, we'll talk about some of the agreements that you will need to sign. Uh, we'll talk about the Train the Trainer program, which is a great program to kind of get you familiar with uh, the CWEP course and to certify, uh, you know, future wedding planners. We will talk a little bit about scheduling for both online and in-person. And of course, we will talk about membership in ABC. So first, we're going to start with the Longevity and ABC marriage. So Longevity is a course creator. They do not only create wedding-related courses, but all types of different courses. Um, Longevity does not wish to, you know, be a front seller uh, of their wedding related courses. So that is where ABC is going to step in. Uh, we are going to sell the courses. Uh, we are going to certify uh, those uh, ABC members. And then ABC and Longevity um, are combining to create a an alliance called the Academic and Professional Standards Alliance. This alliance will uh, allow us to create standards throughout the industry. So through that Academic and Professional Standards Alliance, you will see hopefully other um, educators like NACE and WIPA and Wedding MBA and such join in so we can create a professional standard or a standard of excellence moving forward across the entire industry. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive right into this for you. So they, there are two ways to do online teaching. Sorry about that. First off, you will always market your course. We will give you some marketing guidelines once we get to that point, um, just to kind of keep in mind. And we may even uh, try and make some different social media posts uh, and help you, you know, through that process. Your students would sign up online. You will be giving an, an affiliate link that is, you know, specific to you so that a student would be assigned to you. They would go through the course online. You will have access to their grade book to see their pr progress. You will also um, grade projects. So you don't have to grade tests or anything like that. Those are all automatic. But the pro pro projects <laughs> are individual. So you will view those. You will grade those. And we will talk about the training the trainer program. And it will teach you how to do that. We ask that you do touch base with the students to ask if they have questions. And then finally they complete the course and then you would reach out to them again about their ABC membership. So that is 
if you, you know, host an online course, maybe via Zoom, um, and, you know, chat with the students each week and go through, you know, go through the CWEP program. I don't want to give too much of it away, but that is the easiest way um, to kind of get started. The second way for online teaching is you're not really teaching, but you'll still get the affiliate link. Uh, they would still sign up online. We'll talk about what's in it for you a little bit later. Um, and, but then someone else would actually, you know, usher the student through the program un until and through graduation. So we'll talk about that a little bit too. So online teaching, you you teach but assist so they go through the online program watch the videos upload their you know uh, progress and their projects and then you would answer questions um you know and just kind of help them as they need it so you don't have to do an online uh, process if you don't want to so that that is the two different ways for online teaching as we get into our one-on-ones we can dive into that a little bit further and you can decide what you want to do. So the course is already pre-made for the online student. Um, it's mostly videos and some reading. There are tests and projects. Um, everything except for the projects are automatically graded. And then we do ask for you to reach out to the student at different points in their progress to make sure that they don't have any questions, um, make sure that they, you know, know about their ABC member benefits and such, uh, and just make sure that they get to graduation. So for in-classroom or a hybrid type, you would choose and pay for the location. You uh, Same as the first one, you market the course, they sign up through your affiliate link, the student is assigned to you. All of the courses are eight to 10 weeks. I usually say it's good to have about 10 weeks scheduled. Um, two of those can be empty weeks. You know, maybe there's no class, but they use them to catch up on projects. Um, all their testing and projects would still be uploaded online. So you'd still go through that same process. However, with the in-classroom, you do teach the class in person, go over any questions that they may have, maybe have speakers into, into the course, and then hopefully at the end, you want to do you know, maybe a small uh, party at a restaurant or something like that as a graduation. Just to kind of reiterate some of the main points, you must secure that location. Uh, confirm the dates and location with ABC prior to securing that location. We'll add the course uh, to our event calendar for students to sign up. And then we want you to definitely host a graduation party. I think those are a lot of fun and really beneficial, you know, for the students. Colleges and universities, the process is the same as the in-person. Less, of course, the location being needed because you would be on site at that particular college or university. The dates, however, of the college or university course are actually given to you. So there will be a form that we will ask you to fill out if you want to go through this option. Uh, Longevity will work with us in securing um, those colleges and universities for you. Their fall semesters are actually getting ready to start. So it may be spring, you know, before you get into that particular college or university. But it's a great way to, you know, get in touch with students and really kind of get your foot in the door into teaching. Again, there could be a large or a small number of students at a college or university. Let us know your interest and our team will work to find availability. And then you will be contact with course dates. Payment also for colleges and university is gonna be different than what you're gonna see coming up, but we'll go through that a little bit more too. So the what's in it for you. 
online course. So if you wanted to not teach, just help sell the course and get a little bit of money back. Once you um, get your affiliate link, you could start marketing ABC courses through that affiliate link. As they sign up, you get $159.50. Upon completion of that course, you get an additional $79.75. And that is per, that's a total of $239.25 per student for helping us push out this program. Please note though that this affiliate link will not be available to everyone um, in ABC. We do want to keep it, this program very elite uh, to those of you who first signed up. And then, you know, maybe we will grow it later in the future, but not just not yet. <laughs> For online courses, that is you checking in on them and grading projects. If that student signs up using your affiliate link, you would get that $159.50. You would get an additional 10% midway through the course, $159.50, just for, you know, grading the projects. And then again, upon student completion, you get an additional 5% of that course fee, which is $79.75. So you get a total of, I don't know if that number is right. Let me, that number is incorrect. So it's a total of $398.75 per student. So this number right here should be $398.75. There we go. So it's not a bad deal. The other thing that could occur is if you have an online course, say, you know, uh, I'll name not a member, somebody named Mary is uh, teaching and just wants to do the affiliate link. She gets someone to sign up, so she gets 10%. And then say we assign that student to you. So you would get that additional 10% for the grading, and then you would actually get the upon student completion of 5%. So we we will you know try and work that out, but mostly uh, the affiliate links, because I know that was a question, will go to a group that Longevity has, and that is just uh, grading projects as they go. Now on to the in-person classroom. The core price for that is $21.90. So that is the minimum no amount that you can charge for your in-person classroom. Again, you get 10% of that course fee for signing up, an additional 5% once they complete the program, plus the additional $595. So the money that you made in the online course above plus the $5.95 is a total of $923.50 per student. We do ask that you have a minimum number of 10 students. It keeps the you know class a little bit more interesting, but small enough you know, that you can do a lot of one-on-ones. Uh, if you do think for the in-person uh, classroom option, that you can charge a higher price in your market, you can do so. So if you charge, say, $200 extra, maybe it's $23.90, that extra $200 would go to you um, to help pay for expenses or anything that you would need. Um, through the Train the Trainer program, it will give you lots of great tips uh, for teaching and things to do and you know, we hope that you use some of that money uh, toward the students to, you know, create a great experience for them. So what is the process to get started? If you have already uh, signed the agreements at one point in time with Longevity, you will need to sign them again. So they are now with ABC. We are moving all of the uh, instructors over to ABC. If you have already completed the Train the Trainer program, 
You will not need to complete it again. However, there have been a lot of updates to the program. So if you do have time, we do very highly recommend that. So what you will receive, and there's a link uh, in the email that you'll get with a copy of this video. It is a sign the certified instructor agreement. Once that is signed, you will receive the bylaws for certified licensed instructors and a code of conduct and ethical standards. So the code of conduct and ethical standards is mostly for uh, through the colleges, but we did add in some things in there because we would like for all of our instructors to you know teach the same content. Um, if you want to add more, that is great, but let us know too, because we can always um, increase the content on the program. It's actually a lot easier um, than we anticipated. So your feedback on the course is gonna be very important. If you have not taken or took the or taught the CWEP program before, you will need to complete the train the trainer course. This course goes through the entire program so you know what content is in there and you can teach it correctly. Um, there are, I, I believe there's one project in there for you to do, uh, but it will teach you also how to grade projects and such to make sure that we are a certified uh, college course, we need to make sure that all these bases are covered. Uh, once all that is done, we will schedule a one-on-one -on -one and we will talk about what you're looking to get out of teaching. Uh, we will go through dates and scheduling options for the rest of the year and hopefully into next year. Um, that way then we have a clear calendar and don't, you know, duplicate efforts uh, in the same areas. All right, so the Train the Trainer course, since you've never taken the CWEP course, or even if you have, you'll now be teaching it, so it's a little bit different. It's a great way to learn the contents of the course and to customize your student experience. Because remember, even when you're running a business, you want to make sure that each student has a great experience because then they go out and they'll say, you know what, I, I had the greatest teacher. She was this and she taught us this. And then that may gain you more students in the long run. I always, um, you know, want you to pre-prep so you know what time you'll think you'll need uh, for your students. And then always add like a little bit more in there. That way then, you know, you're covered and you can schedule, you know, events and life, you know, events, family things, you know, as you go. Um, one thing I don't want to do is for any of the instructors to start teaching a program and then drop out. So we need your full commitment for the eight to 10 weeks um, that, that you schedule on the calendar. This train the trainer program will also help you to learn the software uh, for student engagement. There are communities on there, um, how to enter their grades and you know things so they can get their certificates and everything at the end. So it will teach you all that information there also. So once we have our one-on-one -on -one and we have some things scheduled for you, uh, the in-person events will be listed at this link on the abcweddingplanner.com uh, website. This will allow you know anybody who's browsing through the website to go ahead and sign up for your course. So maybe we can help you with some of that marketing and getting students. Um, if there is a max amount of students that you want to have for your course, we can um, make sure that that gets scheduled on there too. They would actually pay for their courses uh, in addition through this link. Online courses will be listed on a separate link just so as not to, you know, 
jam up uh, the entire calendar. So online courses will be listed here. Um, students will still be able to sign up for your course online. We will have all the dates uh, listed there. They can choose the dates of the course that they want, and then that student will be assigned uh, to you. So we are going to grant all students a three-month free membership within ABC that will get them, you know, past the course a little bit. And then we do ask that you weave in the benefits of ABC to your in-person class and to your online students. Um, there are a lot of different aspects in the training where you can put, you know, our room block program in there or other educational opportunities, maybe even other online courses, you know, that we will or do have, you know, to offer students that you can kind of weave into that, that piece there. Uh, annual conference, you know, of course, we are going to ask you to invite everyone that you can. Um, so our annual conference is always held in, you know, end of October, beginning of November timeframe uh, each year and all are always welcome. So we do, of course, ask again for you guys to talk to the students about the benefits of ABC membership. In the email that you're gonna get is a, um, benefit flyer it kind of lists everything that's there right now and then as we gain more benefits since you are a member of ABC you will receive those and can weave those in too so we ask you to do three main things first day of class let them know they have a free month free three month trial membership to get them started we will get this information from your student roster and go ahead and um, get them loaded into our uh, system. We ask again that you weave the benefits of membership into your teachings and conversations with the students. If there are local meetings in your area, invite them out. That may be, you know, a field trip uh, for you guys to go and, you know, go to one of the local networking meetings. Upon graduation, this is how they increase their membership to certified through ABC. So we will give you the points grid a little bit later on and we're gonna go through some training uh, for that too, for you to kind of update you on some changes there. But you would have them fill out the little form, send it in to ABC corporate office and we will go ahead and update them and they will receive their certified uh, wedding planner certificate. Uh, through Longevity and through uh, ABC. So the point system will be sent to you once classes begin. We do ask that all instructors, um, we are going to do one in person and then we'll have it recorded for you uh, to go through the point system so you can answer questions because you may have students that have, you know, been in the business a couple of years and maybe they can you know, once they complete the uh, certification program, they'll not only be certified, but maybe they have enough points to increase to professional wedding planner level. Um, so we will go ahead through that with you. But overall, all of our instructors, you will be helping us set the standard across the industry. Uh, one of the main things and why I wanted to take over ABC is because of that standard. There really is none. It's a pain point for me to see, you know, crowdsourcing online or uh, we did a webinar the other day with an insurance, uh, wedding insurance company, and 45% of the claims were because of unprofessional, you know, wedding planners and wedding vendors. That needs to stop. That should never be the highest number and definitely not at 45%. So creating these standards and having you guys as our forefront of, you know, men and women to go ahead and conquer this battle um, is going to be key to, you know, having a great wedding industry and not really having people look at the wedding industry as a hobby and more as a serious professional, you know, career. 
thank you, you know, for taking your time out today to watch this video. I hope I didn't take up too much of your time, but I do think this is a really great opportunity and I cannot wait uh, to see you guys out there and hear all the wonderful stories, uh, you know, from your students. It, I just think it's very exciting. And I thank you for, you know, taking the time out to consider this position.